see we're doing a, uh, what's the title of the video? It's cable and wire routing. And we want to show you something we found wrong with the motorcycle. So Keegan, you want to hop in there and tell them what you found there? This one. This one right here, as you can tell, has is damaged and whatnot due to stress. And then like long wire routing. And then this one's not routed right. So it's putting stress on this wire. So let's focus on that clutch cable. Okay, so what we got here, we're tearing this motor down and you can see that, first off the bike wouldn't run. We had to rebuild the connector. The connector was broke. And what happened was this secure clip was broke off and this thing had vibrated back to a no spark condition. So this is actually supposed to be tucked in here and we just have it here just to prove that the bike would run and now we're disassembling it. But when this is where it was, you could see it was even much worse in the stress that it's putting on the wires right there. Look at me. You guys gotta remember this. I know you guys are getting this figured out, but this bike is vibrating. That is a rubber mounted motor, okay? So cable and wire routing is really crucial for the fact that they're gonna sit and do this even more on any V-twin motorcycle, okay? And you're gonna get that chafing. So when we take a look at the last technician and the work they did, it, it really just doesn't make sense here. You could see that, and Monroe, maybe you could do me a favor and go to the back of the bike. If I go from here and I try to go down, it doesn't make sense to take the cable and, and bend it in some awkward position. This cable right here is on top of this foot pedal rest here versus if it was in the right place, okay, down here, and then I even got to get it, they really made a mess of that. Now look at that, do you see this cable is what I call relaxed now? Yeah. It's not stressed, do you get what I'm saying? And then as you follow through, it's supposed to have per the manual a cable tie right here. But look at when this is in the right position, now this doesn't have any stress. The two actually won't even touch each other. So in that, vibration and going down the road, you're not going to, you know, create that problem. Here's what I think happens a lot. I think technicians are causing a lot of problems because either you haven't been exposed to the materials that are available or you just don't comprehend how important it is to not stress that stuff. Let me show you what we got here. These guys this morning here, what we did is we pulled out a bunch of examples to show that this information is available in every service manual. It doesn't matter if it was Japanese, doesn't matter if it's Harley, uh, Indian, you name it, all of them. They want you as a technician to be able to duplicate what they figured out very well. When they made that cable a certain length, a certain routing with an exact clip location or zip tie or whatnot, they were doing that for longevity and safety, right? So if you take a look here, this is the manual for that motorcycle, okay? The other thing I want you to think about is you always want to consider when the resource was wrote. If you're dealing with service manuals from the 70s and 80s, they've obviously made them a lot better, you know, with more modern manuals. But this is a 1998 manual, and it's starting to show the clutch routing. This is the bike. We've got a couple different photos here because they're different models. So for what we have, this is our touring model you can see the cable tie that's placed there but here's the thing you got to be able to read look at this route the clutch cable as follows feed the cable through the grommet so on and so on and so on when we get down here it says here see the photo so the reference in one then follow the inboard side of the frame route the cable between the bottom of the gear case cover and the top of the lower frame tube area to the clutch release cover let's go back to that and see if that makes sense so we this is the cam cover, right? Gear case cover. It says route it to the bottom of that. When it was on, on top of here and that cable went across here, wouldn't you say that you would say that that would be sideways? Yeah. Yes, yeah. so you got you got to be able to read and interpret what that's saying. If they say go the bottom in this unstressed, relaxed area right to that, that is what we need to do. Make sense? Just to kind of do a shout out, of appreciation to also some of your manufacturers. Here's a Honda RC51. Here's a dirt bike, KX250 Kawasaki. Look at the way the Japanese manufacturers have done this for years where they actually have pages specific to routing. Every wire, every vacuum line, every clamp. I mean, and so if you look at this, 
you could see and follow like those throttle cables there and you could see that they go underneath the brake lines. Does that make sense? And you could start to see where they're secured in their exact routing. That is pretty sweet. We've been doing this forever. So you guys, you have no excuses. Here's the dirt bike one. Once again, you could see where the line breaks right there, meaning that it's behind that and so on. Now check this out though. Let's go back to Harley. Harley Davidson and on this sporty, look at what we got. A fantastic photo showing exactly where the clamps go, the routing of it the correct way, a close up of that. Pretty cool? All right, so in, in summary of this, what we're saying is you, you guys can do this the right way. We were telling a story this morning about uh, a car being worked on. It was a Jeep, actually, where the vacuum line was pulled like a fiddle. It was on my aunt's Jeep uh, a couple years ago where it kept breaking down. And uh, looking at that vacuum line being pulled like a fiddle, it uh, also stretched the vacuum line where it created a leak. The vehicle was fixed, had a couple hundred dollars worth of sensors put on it, fixed it with a dollar 60 cent foot of a vacuum line by just routing it correctly and unstressing it, let alone fixing the leak, right? All of these wires, cables, hoses, everything, I, I say this a lot there, I wanna think about the manufacturers. Those manufacturers are a lot smarter than most of us and they put a ton of R&D, a ton of engineering into that routing, how it's secured, and I can't stress enough, I think you should duplicate that. This has been nothing but an inconvenience for us to work on from the way the last person worked on it, right? So anyway, that's our tip of the day. Hope you guys are out there. If you're wrenching, stay safe. Uh, make it a great day.